Lesson 83, Come on Board for France. In this lesson, we are going to correctly format a letter with dot style telephone numbers, international telephone access codes, and you will be also reviewing the use of A4 size paper, a day, month, year format for the date. Take a look at 83H for dot style telephone numbers. This is also in your book and 83I, International Telephone Access Codes. After you've reviewed that information, you can begin Correspondence 8379. This is a business letter in block style. I'm going to open the checklist and be reminded that the first thing to do is set your paper size to A4. Remember we go to the Page Layout tab and on the ribbon under Page Setup Group we find Size and set A4. It's that simple, but it's going to be a major deduction if you forget. All lines do begin at the left margin, and so we are going to press enter five times. One, two, three, four, five. Type the date using the current year. There is a typographical error in the situation description where it says today is June 24th. That should read the 23rd. After the date, standard business format for block style letters to press enter four times. Type the inside address. Notice the street number. There's a slightly different format than we're used to with a comma after the number. Then we have a, a French code here. Then you press enter and put France in all caps on the last line of the address. Press enter twice for a blank line before the salutation. Press enter twice again and type the body of the letter, three paragraphs. This includes the email address formatted as a hyperlink and the international format for the phone number. It's got country codes, access codes in there. So be sure that yours is formatted correctly. And then after the last paragraph, press enter twice for the complimentary closing. Then enter four times. Okay, at this point it's helpful to refer to the checklist. After the writer's identification, we press enter two times to type the reference initials. And remember, your name right now is Janet Osborne. Press enter one time, then press undo if word capitalized the J in the reference initials. At this point, you type the enclosure notation. You press enter one time to type the copy notation then avoiding all keystrokes at the end of the document. Notice that Word is going to have some red squiggly lines under names or words that it doesn't recognize. As long as you compare this to your original text, you can ignore those warnings that Word is giving you. Okay, it's time to save and submit to GDP for scoring.